Now it's time to give you some exercises. You won't be able to see them all at the same time, so you're going to have to copy, and then I'll show you the rest of them as you get down to them. Let's look at the first exercise. Evaluate 7x squared minus 4 divided by x squared plus 2x plus 3 or x equal to 5. You need to go ahead and write this problem down and then wait for me to give you the rest of them. The second one, give the excluded values for the following. And I'm going to give you three problems to give the excluded values for. So again, the directions. Give the excluded values for the following. And then the problems, a, 2x squared, minus 5x plus 3 divided by x minus 8. B, x squared minus 4 divided by 6. C, 2x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 25. Once you have copied all three problems, stop the tape work the problems, and then restart the tape to check your answers. Now I'm going to give you the answers. The answer to the first one is 9 halves. Now the number that you got after working it at first can be reduced. So if you have a kind of a weird looking number, go back and see if you can't reduce it to 9 halves. You should be able to. Now let's look at the answers for the second one. 2a. 8 is an excluded value. 2b. There are no excluded values. Your denominator is 6. 6 can never be 0. So you have no excluded values. For c negative 5 and 5 are both excluded values. In your last tape on polynomials, you had function notation, like f as a function of x and g as a function of x. The same type notation can be used to, have to denote algebraic fractional functions. I'm going to show you some ways that the functional notation can be used. Let's look at the algebraic fractional function. a as a function of x is equal to x squared minus 5 over x squared plus 1. And let's find a evaluated at 0. So let's find the value of the function for x equal to 0. So I can say a evaluated at 0 is equal to, I'm just going to put parentheses first, as I have been doing. And I'm going to replace the parentheses by 0, because we're saying that we're going to evaluate the function for x equals 0. That's what it means, evaluate the function for x equal to 0. So I put in a 0 in place of x. Now simply do the work. 0 squared is 0, so I have 0 minus 5 over 0 squared is 0 plus 1, which is a negative 5. So we have a evaluated at 0 is negative 5. 
to make sure you understand that function notation, let's evaluate the algebraic fraction x squared minus 5 over x squared plus 1 for x equal to negative 4. So what I need to do is I need to replace x in the expression by negative 4. So I have a of negative 4 is equal to something squared minus 5 over something squared plus 1. Now the something in this case is negative 4. So I put negative 4 in the parentheses. Now negative 4 squared is 16 minus the 5 over 16 plus 1. 16 minus 5 is 11. 16 plus 1 is 17. So we get 11 seventeenths as the answer. Now let's sketch the graph for a as a function of x is equal to x squared minus 5 over x squared plus 1. Well to graph a function the first thing you want to do is solve for y. Remember this is just another way of writing y is equal to x squared minus 5 over x squared plus 1. So really we've already solved for y. Now I need to make a table of values. I need to do x and a as a function of x. Well let's look at negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we've already evaluated a for negative 4. And we know the answer there is 11 seventeenths. So we know we have 11 seventeenths. We've also already evaluated A at 0. And the answer is negative 5. So for x equals 0, the answer is negative 5. Now if we notice, if I replace a negative 4 by positive 4, it's going to be the same answer. Because a positive 4 squared is also 16. So I end up with the same thing. So I also know that for x equal positive 4, the answer is 11 17ths. 